the Science Direct Database, brought to you by California State University San Bernardino's John M. Pfau Library. This tutorial will be a brief introduction to the Science Direct Database. To get to the database, go to the library's website. On the library's website, scroll down and click the Choose a Database button. This gets you to our list of more than 150 databases that we've divided up into large subject areas. The Science Direct database appears under several of these categories. In this demonstration, I'm going to go to Kinesiology. And when we scroll down again, we see that Science Direct is the fourth database on the list. To get into the database, just click the title and use your My Coyote login for access. I'm going to come up into the search box and type in my keyword search. and click search. Now even though I have a very specific multiple keyword search, I'm still getting 5,605 results. Science Direct Database is done by Elsevier, a science publisher, and it's enormous. It has scholarly journals in science, technology, medicine, and many, many other disciplines. So even if you do have a very specific keyword search, you'll still need to narrow that down. And the best way to do that is to use the features that are built in to the database. I'm going to scroll down. And under Article Type, I'm going to select Research Articles. The research articles are generally the ones that you need for your assignments. These are the ones that present the research, the original research from the researchers, all the details, everything. And my list is updated, and now I have only 2,826 results. Once again, I'm going to scroll down. And in the Subject Areas category, I'm going to choose Nursing and Health Professions. And let that update again. And now that I've refined it that much, I'm going to look at my years here on the left. And this database uh, separates out each year individually, rather than giving you a, a range or a sliding scale, as some of our other databases do. And I'm going to choose 2020, which has 64 research articles in the subject area of nursing and health professions. And now I've got a more manageable list on my topic. So what are we seeing here in the list view? We're seeing the title of the article. We're seeing the title of the journal and a little snippet of the issue and the date here. We're seeing the authors, some of them. And we're seeing some controls for downloading the PDF, the full text. We're seeing an abstract arrow that allows us to have a pop-up uh, abstract so that we can quickly check to see if it's a good match for what we're looking for. We have something called extracts which shows where the database found your search terms in the record for that article. And we also have an export feature. Uh, this works best if you have one of these software packages that does uh, your references, your bibliography, your citations. And you do not get a choice, as you do in some of our other databases, of whether it's APA format or MLA. It's just the standard ScienceDirect format. So you might have to do a little more work on the citations on your own. I'm going to go from the list view 
to the more detailed screen for this first article. And I just click on the title to do that. And what we're seeing here, again we're seeing the link to download the PDF. We're seeing <clears throat> the logo for Elsevier, the publisher of the database. We're seeing the title, the full title of that journal, the volume, the issue, the date, the pages. Here comes the rest of the citation, the title of the article in giant font there, and all the authors that participated in writing the article. Now the site control here is the same as the export link was on the list view, so you don't get anything more there. You can see on the right hand side if any other articles have cited this one, have used it in their research. Since this one is only a 2020, they have, well, people haven't had time to really read it and use it in their research yet, so that's why it says zero. On the left hand side you can jump to the figures, the tables that are here in this article. Uh, you can also go to the references or any of these sections here because down below is the HTML full text of the article. So you have a choice of HTML full text or PDF. In general, PDF uh, is better presented uh, when you have tables or graphs or things like that. Um, the PDF can be a little easier on the eyes. So that's really the difference there. But both of those will have the complete full text of the article. The end. Thank you for watching, and good luck on your research.